Good morning, dear students. Welcome to P and Amarzi e-learning classes. Our today's topic is about back to the oceans. What happens to the water that rain and snow bring to different regions of Earth? Almost all land surfaces are above the level of oceans. Most of the water that falls on the land as rain and snow. sooner or later goes back to the oceans this happens in many ways snow in the mountains melts into water this water flows down the mountains in the form of streams and rivers you can see figure 14.8 some of the water that falls on land as rain as flows in the form of rivers and streams Most of the rivers cover long distances on land and ultimately fall into a sea or an ocean. However, the water of some rivers flows into lakes. The rainwater also fills up the lakes and ponds. A part of the rainwater gets absorbed by the ground and seems to disappear in the soil. Some of this water is brought back to the air by the process of evaporation and transpiration the rest seeps into the ground most of this water becomes available to us as groundwater open wells are fed by groundwater groundwater is the source for many lakes as well as it is also this ground water which is drawn by a hand pump or a tube well the more hand pumps or tube wells that are used in an area the deeper we need to dig to find this ground water the loss in the level of ground water due to overuse is worrisome pahli wants to share a concern with you in those areas where the land has little or no vegetation the rain water flows away quickly flowing water rain water also takes the top layer of the soil away with it there are few areas where most of the land is covered with concrete this reduces the seepage of rain water into the ground which ultimately affects the availability of ground water we know that water brought back to the surface of the earth by rain hail or snow goes back to oceans thus water from the ocean and surface of the earth goes into air as vapor returns as rain hail or snow and finally goes back to the oceans the circulation of the water is in this manner is known as water cycle you can see the figure 14.9 this circulation of water become between ocean and land is a continuous process this maintains the supply of water on land what if it rains heavily the time duration and the amount of rainfall varies from place to place in some parts of the world it rains throughout the year while there are places where it rains only for a few days thus water cycle can be defined as a continuous movement of water from the earth's surface and water bodies as water vapor to the atmosphere and from the atmosphere back to the earth surface as rain hail or snow this cycle maintains the supply of water on land in our country most of the rainfall occurs during the monsoon season rains bring relief especially after hot summer days the sowing of many crops depends on the arrival of monsoon however excess of rainfall may lead to many problems you can see figure 14.10 a scene after heavy rains heavy rains may lead to raise in the level of water in rivers lakes and ponds the water may then spread over large areas causing floods the crop fields forest villages and cities may get submerged by water you can see 14.11 that a scene of a flooded area 
in our country floods cause extensive damage to crops domestic animals property and human life during floods the animals living in the water also get carried away with the water they often get trapped on land areas and die when flood water recedes rains also affect the animals living in the soil thank you dear students